How you doing guys? A bit of a festive one this one. I'm going to be doing a roast turkey breast uh, stuffed with garlic, uh, honey smoked um, sweet potatoes and a cranberry onion jam. That's festive and delicious. And, and instead of using a whole bird, just use this, turkey breast. Absolutely amazing. Uh, packed full of flavour. It's netted so we don't go anywhere apart from that little bit there. And if I'm just serving a small amount of people, I'll just use this. This will serve around about three to four people, depending on how greedy you are. This is a lifesaver, cheap as chips, and it'll go a long way, like I said, depending on how greedy you are. So what you want to do now is grab a paring knife and just make some holes in the breast randomly, just around. So we're gonna, we're gonna put some garlic in there. And now just add your garlic in the holes. This is gonna be amazing. So add a good pinch of sea salt, get it on there, some olive oil, get it on there, and now you just want to rub that salt in, all that oil, and you can see the garlic's in, rub it in there. So what I'm going to do now is put the turkey breast on the rack, just the oven rack, and what this will do, all the goodness and all the juices will drop onto the roast potatoes, not roast potatoes, sweet potatoes. Um, I'm going to put them in here and that turkey juice and all the goodness will drop on to the sweet potatoes and it's going to be fantastic. So first I'm going to put the tray in, that will go on the bottom and now the turkey breast, just on the rack. I can hear that sizzle, nice. So I'm going to cook this on 325 for about two hours, we'll see. Right, so while that's cooking, we're going to do the cranberry onion jam and I'm going to be using uh, some red onion because it's nice and sweet. So let's thinly slice it. Okay, so add some olive oil to your pan. Right, so now add the onions. Every time you're sweating something, especially onions, add a pinch of salt, it wakes them up. It releases them. So you just want to cook these onions on a medium heat. Not too crazy, just cook them down. A little bit of sugar just to help them caramelize. So they're nice and soft, it's where I want them. So now I'm gonna add some, some rosemary. And cranberries and rosemary, classic. Get that in there. Cook that rosemary out for like two minutes. Right, so now add your cranberries. Mmm, add some stock. Just a cover. Right, so now what you want to do is bring that up to a boil and uh, let the cranberry cook out really nice. A little bit of sugar. I love to know how much sugar and some vinegar. It's a bit like a gas drink. It's got a little bit of tartness, which I like, just in the background, but um, the vinegar and the sugar have really balanced it out and I can really taste that rosemary too. But that's done, that's fantastic. You can add a little bit of orange in there if you want to. You can add some clove, uh, some star anise, fantastic. But that for me is just simple, nice, festive, and that'll go very well with the turkey. Okay, so just peel your sweet potato. I used to hate these things, but now I love them. Slice it in half. Chop. All right, so grab your tray. It's hot. All right, grab your sweet potatoes, add them to that fat. So add smoked paprika, good pinch of salt, some extra oil, mix. Right, so now add your spuds. It's gonna be hot. Right, so now that is cooked. Now you want to let that rest for at least 20 minutes. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to show you a delicious combo, and that is Brussels sprouts and uh, nutmeg. Great salad. So the slice your Brussels sprouts. Olive oil, straight in. Now add your sprouts. You want a good pinch of salt. Right now, a little touch of nutmeg over the top, 
Right, you want to cook that for like a little bit, but you still want texture. You don't want it mush. So to take out my sweet potatoes. Should be nearly there. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at these, they smell absolutely gorgeous. And they smell nice and smoky too. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glaze them with a little bit of honey. If I added the honey at the start, it would burn them. Uh, so just last five minutes in the oven and it'll give it a nice glaze. It's gonna look gorgeous. So just a little bit of honey, not too much. And the last five minutes, it'll just give it a nice sheen. Spuds back in, five minutes. Now that, my friends, is supper sorted, right there. The start of the show is that jam. As I always say, let's tuck in. So, try some of this turkey, with that little jam on there. So, mm. I'm gonna try some of this honey smoked sweet potato with some Brussels sprouts. Mmm, mmm. Everything just works. And that's me done for 2016. Have a fantastic Christmas, a fantastic new year. Be safe, be merry, eat well, and I will see you in 2017. Thanks guys. I don't know whether to use a knife and fork or just stuff my face. Oh, I can't. That's massive.